Julie Bishop has struggled to explain changes to retirement rules, which are causing the coalition grief in its own base. The Prime Minister admits some of those leaving the workforce will pay more tax from July next year, but the government insists only 4% of high-earning retirees will be affected. Political editor Chris Yorman. Agility is much prized by the Turnbull government. <laughs> And this marathon campaign is testing physical and mental agility. Are you aware of the transition to retirement scheme? Well, I'm certainly aware that we have one, yeah. How does it work? Well, Neil, this is obviously a gotcha moment. You want me to go through... No, no, uh, I think it's, not, I it's, think not it's my a portfolio. And this is the, uh, the hole in your whole logic. Super is based on the idea... The government maintains its superannuation changes only hit people on very high incomes, but the budget axed rules allowing those approaching retirement to draw tax-free income from their super while still working. Well, is it possible that the transition to retirement changes are catching people of lower income and that's an unintended consequence? Well, I'm not aware of that. Well, good day. After ridiculing a Labor frontbencher for not being up to speed on policy, the Prime Minister was more forgiving of his deputy. Superannuation is notoriously an area of, uh, of great uh, complexity. You always look glamorous. The opposition was less generous. This government's been caught out when it comes to superannuation. Are they still seeking to tax those workers who want to top up their wages? Malcolm Turnbull admitted the changes will see some people transitioning to retirement paying more tax from July 1 next year. They will be taxed at 15%. It is still very concession a very concessional rate of tax. What's happened here? The Treasurer said the move was aimed at ensuring the integrity of the super system. But once you get into the retirement phase, then you return to a position of zero tax on your earnings in that phase. <laughs> Loose words and bad images can cruel campaigns. And these were shot as the Prime Minister left the University of New South Wales while his team tried to prevent the media from filming. Oh, that's one. That's one. That's one. That's one. Malcolm Turnbull's focus today was pledging $20 million to map the genes that cause childhood cancers, while Bill Shorten promised a billion dollar tourism fund. The opposition leader made the most of his moor walk. You're beautiful. Hello. Hello. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> And Lulu brightened the Prime Minister's visit to a cancer ward. I don't mind. Thank you. Mind. This day belonged to the ladies in pink. Chris Yorman, ABC News, Canberra.